Hi everybody, this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com and in this video we're going to take a look at the indices. Okay, We'll take a look at the different indexes. First up we're going to look at Dow Jones Industrial Average. And so yeah, um, some interesting uh, patterns forming. Um, if you look here, there's this uh, symmetrical triangle pattern where you have a uh, descending, this red descending resistance line. And uh, yeah, you can see here it's been making the tops. And, and, and it hit that level uh, once again and failed to break uh, uh, yesterday and, and then it, uh, a red candle did form and then there is also um, ascending support okay so so then you have this symmetrical triangle and so what happened was is that the 50-day simple moving average that's the green line here currently at, at 25307 that failed to hold and then the close below that level yesterday signaled that that it could possibly pull back and test the middle Bollinger band and that's exactly what happened today that's at 25013 that's the dotted purple line here a, a lot of moving averages are converged here you have EMAs 4 8 and 13 and the middle Bollinger Band which is the 20 day simple moving average they're all pretty much at the same level here just above uh, 25,000 and, and so if you see a drop below 25,000 that's going to be your signal that it's cooling down and, and what would likely happen is the, uh, the, the the bottom of the the current pattern would, would, would be tested which is the the uh, 100 day simple moving average Average and the green ascending support line, basically somewhere between uh, 24.6 and 24.7. <clears throat> That's where it should find support if it drops below 25. Now, now, now to the upside, if it bounces here, it, it, it could get back. You know, the, the, the key level is going to break is that 50-day simple moving average, and then it could get back. You know, up and test that descending resistance line. If it breaks above 25.4, that's going to be a signal that it wants to head higher. A close above this red de descending resistance line and back above the 50-day simple moving average average would be bullish. That is the key. Those are the key levels that turn into support. If you notice here, this gap filled, there was a gap between high of day on Thursday last week and low of day on Friday. And so the, 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 the candle today came down, filled the gap and bounced after the gap fill. So the gap fill could be a catalyst for a technical bounce tomorrow. It just remains to be seen. So it's going to be all about holding that middle Bollinger Band support level. Um, it, yeah. And so if you uh, look here at the next chart for, uh, for the Dow Jones Industrial Average. This is the 15-minute chart, and you can see here it started with, with, with a, a you know a, a downtrend here um, uh, on the 12th, and, and it broke below the uh, middle Bollinger Band here at, at 10:45. You know and that that's in, uh, you know the downside risk. You know it pulled back, it filled this gap here, and, and, and basically it, it's been in this downward channel. And so today it broke below the middle Bollinger Band and and the 50 simple moving average, the green line. That was at 11 o'clock after a nice strong at the open and that was your signal okay yeah it's really broken if you hadn't gotten out before that was your signal to take precaution and, and then and then it, and then the, the middle Bollinger Band turned into resistance you could see here the bottom of the channel okay so, so it was created and then when it came back down and tested that level at three o'clock it broke below and that signaled more downside risk it also broke below the gold line that was holding which is the 100 simple moving average at 25117 and so it when it came down it tested the blue line which was the 300 simple moving average at 25024 and that level broke and so now it needs to get above that level 25024 and above the pink line which is the, the EMA4 at 25012 if it gets above those levels that would signal that it's heating back up and then it would uh, you know th then you'd be looking for a break above EMA8 getting back in this channel you know making a run back up to the top of the channel if the bottom of the channel turns into resistance what, what will likely happen is is the 200 simple moving average down here will be tested at, at 24910. Now, now notice the, the, the lower wicks in this candle. It, it filled the gap. You can see here the gap that we we're talking about. High of day uh, on the 8th was the top of the gap. And then it gapped up open the next day. And low of day was right here at the at the very open on, on the 9th. And so the, the candle's end of day here came down and filled the gap. And so many times a, a gap fill is a catalyst for a bounce. You can see there was a big volume spike at the close. And, and so yeah, we'll see if uh, yeah the, if this could get a technical bounce it, it, you know if it drops below uh, any lower here um, you know it, it's that uh, um, 200 simple moving average at 24 910 is the key level to hold th th this is
is a 15 minute chart that that w was created back here uh, on the uh, sixth, and, and um, yeah, it, it was showing this uh, possible uh, 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 intraday uh, double top here, a po possible temporary top w with the top here pulled back. And so I posted this chart, and you could see it, it came back up and it hit that level and, and and failed to break and pulled back again. And then finally on, on the ninth, uh, you know, the the Dow jo Jones Industrial Average was able to break above this key resistance zone and, and headed higher. We'll, we'll notice today the bounce is off of the, the previous resistance level. You know, it's right off of that red line, the top red line, that now it's turned into support. Okay, so it's going to be a major red flag if it drops below this level. It's a major support level. It was resistance for multiple days in a row. So, so now it's holding. That, that, that's, that's how, you know, how uh, technical you know, analysis works. Um, th this is, uh, you know, playing out textbook perfect. Now, if it drops below that 200 simple mean average at 24, 9, 10, that's going to be your big red flag. That's going to be a signal, okay, yeah, it's broken. And that's when it could head much lower. You know, it's in that technical bounce zone. So we'll see if it's going to be able to hold support here tomorrow. If you look here at the S&P 500, <clears throat> you can see on this daily chart, that uh, our RSI hit the, the same key level um, yesterday as it topped out previously on the 26th. Uh, on the 26th, you can see down here it made that nice run, and, and, and uh, you know it had got back. It got back to that level on the 9th. Well, well yesterday our RSI and, and on the 9th was at, at the same uh, you know key level where it topped out before, and it pulled back. So it's going to need to break above that 60 resistance zone to head higher. And then you can see the same thing happened with Fasto. Fasto hit the zone uh, on the 26th and when it hit that level on Friday that was signaling it could possibly uh, you know be a temporary top and that is what happened it pulled back so Fasto and R RSI did signal that that this could be a level where the S&P 500 takes a breather now now it did close above that that high close horizontal resistance on the 9th and that was signaling the possible breakout higher you know it formed a red candle on on Monday uh, but but it was above the key uh, you know resistance level to stay above 2780 today it dropped back below it needs to get above 2780 and turn it into support to head higher if it stays below that level that could signal uh, more consolidation right now it's holding EMA 4 at 2764 it has to hold that level that's a that's a crucial support level um, you know if it breaks that that that's when it could consolidate similar to here and, and so uh, what's going on now is there's a gap below between high of day on Thursday on the 8th uh, and low of day on the 9th and, and so if it drop down here to this 2740 uh, level, that would fill the gap. So keep an eye out for a possible gap fill. Um, yeah, it, it, and th that's also lined up with that 50-day simple moving average at 2745, which is a, a key level to hold. If you look at the SPX 15 or 60-minute uh, chart, you could see here, uh, you know, this was posted earlier in the week. It was on the 9th, or I guess that, that would be uh, last Friday. It, 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 and so this was, uh, you know, hitting the level where, where it was either going to, uh, you know, form a a potential uh, temporary top because it w when, when the share price works its way back up to a previous uh, high close, it has to break above <clears throat> to head higher. And, and so uh, on Friday, it did break above that level intraday. It closed above. And so that did signal more upside potential. You know, it pushed higher uh, on, on Monday, you know, but, but, but it closed very, you know, very close to the uh, close on, on Friday. And then today it was the big pullback. You can see the multiple red candles in a row. It did break below the middle Bollinger Band. It needs to get back above that level to get the uh, uptrend going again. Um, it, it, if you could see down here, it, it, the key level is going to be this 300 simple moving average at 27.51. And then just below that's the, the 50 simple moving average at 27.44. This is the gap right here between these two uh, candles between, or, you know, between high of day on the 8th and low of day on the 9th. And so a drop down to 27.40 would fill the gap. So it could come down, you know, and test that 100 simple moving average zone, you know, 50 simple moving average zone in the 15 minute or 60 minute chart, and that's where it could possibly find support. I mean, there there were a lot of red volume bars and candles in a row to close, and so you have to be on the lookout for a possible uh, technical bounce. Okay, so let's look at the 
uh, SPX 15 minute chart. As you can see here, it's forming this uh, falling wedge type pattern. And so, yeah, it, it, it broke below the middle Bollinger Band and the 50 simple moving average. And, and, and it also broke below the, the 100 simple moving average. That's the level it's got to get. It needs to get back above at 2768. Um, it also needs to get above that uh, EMA4 at 2765. It closed right at that level. Uh, um, if those levels turn into resistance, what it could do is drop down here. There is an un, you know the unfilled gap, and then that that would put the 200 and 300 simple moving averages on deck. You know if it dropped down to that 2740, it would fill the gap, and then it would find that that key support zone on the 15 minute chart. So you have to look out for a technical bounce if it hits that level. Okay, let's look at CONPQ. This is the Nasdaq Composite Index, and, and, and yeah, as you can see here, um, it, it did form a uh, big red candle today. And so, yeah, I, I was thinking this was uh, bears three gap ups, but I, since, I guess since that was a small white candle, then um, <clears throat> it didn't form that pattern. It did form bearish engulfing reversal pattern today. And so we will be looking for uh, bearish reversal confirmation. Um, it, it closed right at EMA4 at 75.08, you know, uh, just above that level. That's the key level to hold. It's been holding during this run. I mean, it, it formed, uh, you know, what was that, six, a six, seven-day run, it, seven days in a row it, it, it ran. And so so it took a breather today. It's still a very strong uptrend. Um, it, it, if it drops below EMA4, that would be a signal it's cooling down, similar to back here, you know, similar to over here when it got below EMA4. Four. And so, uh, yeah, if if EMA four holds, the signal is that that it's still strong, and then you want to see a push above that seventy six level uh, to head higher. Now, now if it drops back. You can see the unfilled gap here, and so a drop down to that EMA eight support zone would fill the gap. Um, yeah, if you want to see it stay above the the closing price over here um, in uh, January, that high close level. Um, you know, if it drops below, you know that that could signal more consolidation. The risk here is is that it drops down below the that that gap and fills the gap, and then works its way down to that middle Bollinger Band and fifty day simple moving average. That's the downside risk if support fails to hold. Okay. Okay, and and yeah, this is the the bearish engulfing, and I showed you that. And then <clears throat> this is the uh, fifteen minute chart for Nasdaq. You know, you can see it's in this downtrend. It, you know, it broke below the middle Bollinger Band today. That was the red flag. And then when it got below the fifty simple moving average, the green the green uh, line. That was your signal that the chart was broken, and then it ended up breaking below. The, the next key level was the 100 simple moving average, and that broke at 3 o'clock today. It needs to get back above that level at 75.25. If it turns into resistance, you know, the, the top of the gap is down here at 7, 74.70, and, and so it could hit the top of the gap level or possibly fill the gap and drop down to that 200 simple moving average at 74.22. Okay, so this is the, uh, you know, the, 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 you know the, the bottom of the gap, and a drop to you know, when a gap fills, many times that's a cat catalyst for a technical bounce. So it could come down here, hit hit the support zone, and, and get a technical bounce. Okay, let's look at IWM. Okay, this is the Russell 2000. Um, as you can see here, um, yeah, it, it was uh, 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 under pressure today as well. Um, yeah, it, it ended up forming a bullish uh, or bearish Doji Star reversal pattern yesterday. You can see the Doji while in an uptrend after a gap up open, and, and then uh, today that that pattern did what was confirmed. Confirmed. And so the red candle today did confirm that that pattern. And so that does signal downside risk. Once again, it, it, it's still a very strong uptrend. It, it's it, it's hitting EMA4 at 158.06. As long as that level's holding, you know, the chart's still very strong. If it drops, closes below EMA4, that, that, that's when it could start consolidating. Uh, very similar to over here. It closed below EMA4 on the 29th, and then that's when this big downtrend started. You know, it closed below EMA4 here on the 27th, and it ended up dropping all the way down to here, you know, closed down here, you know, and it ended up getting all the way down to here, you know, and then, and then it, it you know, rode EMA4, closed below EMA4, it got all the way down to here. And, and so now, you know, it was riding EMA4 this whole time. And so as long as it's holding, it's all good. If it closes below, that that's where, you know, you could get that downside risk. That, that That's your big clue. And so keep an eye on that level tomorrow. Um, yeah. Um, and then uh, one more chart to look at is the IWM weekly chart. Now it looks like, you know, th th this is just a potential, you know, it, it's hitting the key level, the 160 
we're calling it the 160 resistance zone. Um, that, that, that's the closing high close here in January. And so if it can close above that level for the week, if it, if it can get up above you know 160 or above for the week, that's going to be your signal. Okay, yeah, it's trying to break out higher. The uptrend's still intact. If it struggles with breaking above 160, that could signal a temporary top and it could pull back and, and test EMA4 at 156.7. It's in a very strong uptrend. It's just hitting a key resistance level. If it fails to break, that would be a signal that it's taking a breather. It had that very strong candle last week, you know, and it's typical, you know, it's it's not atypical to take a breather after a strong move like that. Now, if it busts out and it goes above 160, you know, it could run up. You could see that the, the top of the channel would be up here, and so it could get a nice break out higher. It, it, as long as the middle Bollinger Band at 153 is holding, the, this uptrend is intact. Keep in mind that the weekly candlestick does not set until the closing bell on Friday. All right, each each one of these candles represents one week of trading. Okay, thank you very much for viewing this video, and, and notice the really light volume, you know, super light volume so far this week. Okay, thank you very much for viewing this video. If you'd like to learn more about charts and technical analysis, uh, please check us out at uh, mychartcoach.com and, and, and check out our chat. I'll post the uh, link to the chat below the YouTube video. Thank you.